lovely to have Lisa Wong here with us today um, in collaboration with the Art People Gallery. Um, some of the paintings will be exhibited in Raffles Gallery from 5th to 15th March per week. Um, first off, a huge, huge congratulations on the show, Lisa. Thank you. It's, it's truly amazing to have your art display in our gallery. It's an honor to have you here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, as we know that Lisa has been working on a collaborative project called um, To Each Their Own. Could you elaborate on how the idea came about? So the idea kind of came about when we were like just like we're all at home, right? Yes. Just sitting all at home all the time. So you know, I mean, we're all in this quarantine experience together, mm -hmm. and basically, like I was kind of just looking at Instagram, and mm -hmm. my friends had been like also doing these pieces of work that were just like so tied into this idea of like mm -hmm. oh, and I was just kind of like you know I was currently at this at that point in time doing um, a series of my own garden, which is it's tied to my house as well and I was just like wow like you know like wouldn't it be great to kind of get together and like just like create this exhibition that's like you know because all our work was kind of like weirdly related and we were we were really good friends back at university so these are my two friends Marina Pawada and Lisa Jake they were friends with me when I was in the states like in California at the California College of the Arts and um it was really weird because like, you know, we're all really stuck in different countries. Mm -hmm. Marina was in Sweden, Lisa's in Seattle, and the U US, and I'm not here. And um, I kind of just was like, wow, like, you know, like, it's weird because we're not able to have a physical exhibition together, but this pandemic has kind of made it possible for like, virtual mm -hmm. exhibitions to pop up. Mm -hmm. so I was like, guys, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. And they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. So I'm just kind of like, so, you know, it's, it's a great idea. Like, you know, like, you don't have anything to do, let's just, let's just go for it. So I'm pretty positive. So I'm just like, you just do it. Yeah, just do it. So yeah. that's just kind of came about. I was just, you know, I just think about art and just like, look really good together. So that's what, how it came about. Yeah, it's really exciting you know, you know how the project's going to be elaborated and uh, it's, it's nice to, you know, talk to friends and brainstorm new ideas. Yeah. And, so, um, as we can see, as I can see, uh, there are quite various of objects popping up from your painting, kind of like art approach. So, um, is there any specific meaning or any special message that means to you or you know, conveying? So, with like the objects and like the idea of my work is it's yeah. called, like for my section of this uh, mm -hmm. tuition organization. So, my work, for, uh, this year's book is, I would like to call it the right teacher. Because mm -hmm. it's uh, basically it's kind of like an invented non-tangible room, mm -hmm. and honestly, we feel it's a fantasy. So we feel with whatever objects you desire. Mm -hmm. Like so, some of them resonate to me. Some of them I encounter in real life. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just kind of like I really like them. Mm -hmm. So for instance, the cake in quiet celebrations. That's actually a cake baked by my new sister. Mm -hmm. She's not a functional baker, but she could be, and um, but she's not currently. So it's just kind of these like memories, collection of things and memories of like things I in a sense desire but yeah. probably couldn't have mm -hmm. kind of just like put together in this non-tangible space that only becomes tangible when painted. So it's that's why it's called my internal to us. Mm -hmm. So it's that that's the idea behind these objects that it creates this kind of fantasy that's in a sense tied to reality. After, after explaining all this, you know, after hearing your explanation, you know, I can actually see um, bits and pieces of what you're trying to say in all your paintings, you know. Um, yeah, just another quick question for you. Um, any like, influences, like the biggest influences, what or who like, influence in, in, in creating this piece of art or like, you know, inspiration that you get from? Other artists are uh, yeah, yeah. interest, um, interest which is yes, great. Yes, yes. Uh, interest, mm -hmm. lots of things. Interest mm -hmm. and just all artists are just just you know, get, <laughs> get great uh, right. inspiration for like you know new paintings. Mm -hmm. um, but also like specifically like um, I was looking at this Henry Matisse painting with the yeah. goldfish and they were just very simplistic mm -hmm. and just bright orange color. Mm -hmm. They were just so beautiful and like I just wanted to try and. Create the still life that expresses the same kind of feeling that he did. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, I don't want to set up a still life. I actually want to create the still life in my mind. Mm -hmm. Because I, I feel that, you know, like if I were just to paint a still life as it is, like an existing still life, mm -hmm. that's that's just a still life. It's not the mind that's going to dwell because it already exists in yes. reality. Mm -hmm. And it's not this kind of fantasy between objects that 
you know, I had encountered mm-hmm. or I owe mm-hmm. or like, you know, that I want. There's no correlation between it. It's just a still life. Mm-hmm. And, but I mean, I've also been looking at other artists such as um, Paul Wackers, Andy Dixon, uh, Andy Dixon is fantastic cover, mm-hmm. Anna Valdez, mm-hmm. uh, all these these other artists, Monkey Kokudo, uh, what's, uh, sorry, what's his Gosh, Hernan mm-hmm. Bass. These guys have like just this great um, way of expressing objects and figurative mm-hmm. objects just through their the way they paint. Yeah. It's just like it's really inspiring to me. So mm-hmm. it's like these artists, and also of course my two friends, Lisa Jake and Melina Kawada, because if I hadn't been looking at the art through mm-hmm. Instagram, I wouldn't have been like yeah, start like I wouldn't have had the idea of being like guys, let's do this. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, it's definitely all these. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a quick reminder that uh, Lisa's painting will be exhibited in Raffles Auction uh, from 5th to 15th March from Yui and uh, everyone is welcome to view the art and uh, all the best in your artistic journey and good listings everyone.